Hi, I'm Larry Zimmer, and uh, over the 42 years that I've broadcast Colorado Buffalo football, I've had some great memories, and we're sharing those with you uh, during this season. And uh, one of the memories uh, that we're going to talk about today is a person, the quarterback, Sal Inessi. Sal Inessi from Oceanside, California, wasn't a big guy, 5'11", 195, I guess that's big enough, but some of the quarterbacks you see today uh, aren't uh, that big, but he really was able to run the uh, option that uh, Bill McCartney had back in the uh, late 80s. And Sal truly was a great motivation for Colorado's great teams, the unbeaten team in 89 and the national championship team in 90. He started in 87, taking over in the third game. Mark Hatcher was injured, and uh, he took over as the starting quarterback, and in his sophomore year was the Big 8 Newcomer of the Year and also the AP's Offensive Newcomer of the Year. He was diagnosed with stomach cancer in Mark of, uh, March of 1989, and the big question uh, started in spring practice, well, who was going to be the quarterback? Darian Hagan answered that on his very first carry by running 75 yards against Texas in the opener of the 89 season. The Buffs won their first three games over Texas, CSU, and Illinois. Then they had a bye week, and Sal died on the Saturday, September 23rd, which was the open weekend. On Monday, they had the funeral service at uh, Mackey Auditorium, and it was an overflow crowd. Uh, they had a traditional Samoan service. The family, uh, Sal's family, was in a Samoan dress, and his teammates were all the pallbearers, and I'll never forget that as they walked out carrying the coffin out of Mackey. ZU was ranked fifth, and uh, there was some question as to whether they were going to play the next game against Washington and Seattle, but they did go, but uh, then the question was how they would react. Sal used to watch the games from the photo deck at Folsom, and after the anthem and after the flip of the coin, the players were all point to him in the photo deck. And everybody was wondering, well, what, what is going to be the reaction? Well, what happened was uh, they pointed to the sky. They still took the knee and pointed straight up instead of pointing to the press box. And uh, this announcer was on the air at the time, and I uh, tried to mask it, but I think uh, I somewhat lost it. Anyway, Colorado went on to dominate that football game against a very good Washington team, which came in uh, ranked 21st. It was 38 to six at the end of three periods. Washington got a couple of late touchdowns, and uh, the final score was 45 to 28. A big win for Colorado in 1989, and. Uh, one day that I will never ever forget. Colorado, of course, went on to be unbeaten in 1989, played for the national championship in the Orange Bowl against Notre Dame, and uh, lost that game. But that set the stage for 1990 when they did win the national championship. But I'll never forget Salinesi.